The UK is replacing its fleet of 10 Reaper drones with up to 26 of the new Protector drones. The newer drone has further range and longer endurance, as well as being capable of carrying more weapons. It is also capable of autonomous takeoff and landing. The UK's new armed drones known as Sky Guardian internationally, but renamed Protector by the UK will begin test flights in the UK next month after the Civil Aviation Authority agreed to new airspace rules around Royal Air Force Waddington. The MOD will undertake a small number of time-critical proving flights of the new drone ahead of a longer test and training program due to begin in late 2023 early 2024. The first of an initial batch of 16 MQ-9B Sky Guardian was flown into Royal Air Force Waddington on board a transport aircraft on 30 September. The UK Royal Air Force has accepted its second MQ-9B Protector remotely piloted air system from General Atomics at Waddington Station in Lincoln. The induction follows completion of the drone's assembly and ground trials at the site led by 31 Squadron Air Base support engineers. General Atomics Aeronautical Systems, and defense equipment and support. The 56 squadron test and evaluation experts will conduct additional trials to ensure the MQ-9B's full operational capability by next year. After the second protector's arrival, five more aircraft will be shipped by the end of 2024 as the service completes preparations to transition aircrew and technicians from the older MQ-9A Reaper. General Atomics received an initial contract in July 2020 for three protectors as part of London's objective to modernise its airborne lethality assets, each tailored specifically to the British military's requirements. The aircraft's first flight was held in the US two months later. In July 2021 the UK Defence Agency signed another contract for 13 more MQ-9Bs for the initiative. General Atomics handed over the first protector in October 2022. This was followed by the system's maiden flight in British territory in November 2023. The Royal Air Force wrote in its latest press release that the first eight MQ-9Bs are scheduled to enter service in 2025, with Royal Air Force Waddington serving as the entire fleet's home base. The Protector MQ-9B is a medium-altitude, long-endurance platform designed for intelligence, surveillance, targeting, and reconnaissance missions. The drone can be armed with Paveway 4 laser-guided explosives. Brimstone 3 attack missiles, electro-optical infrared cameras, temperature control solutions, detect and avoid technology, and a satellite communications payload. The MQ-9B Sea Guardian unmanned aircraft system is tailor-made to support the US Navy, Marine Corps, and their allies and partners around the world against peer or near-peer forces. As the most capable long-endurance aircraft of its kind, Sea Guardian is revolutionizing what's possible for anti-surface anti-submarine, and electronic warfare operations in support of carrier strike groups, surface action groups, amphibious ready groups, and international forces. Sea Guardian springs from the world's most proven family of remotely piloted aircraft, the more than 1,000 Predator series multi-mission aircraft that have logged over 8 million operational hours, most of which were in combat. While it stands on the foundation of all those predecessors and years of experience, the MQ-9B Sea Guardian is a wholly new aircraft that represents the next generation of UAS. Sea Guardian is larger, can fly longer, cover greater distances, carry more payloads, and has better capabilities than anything else in its class. On its own, it's the world's most sophisticated medium-altitude, long-endurance unmanned aircraft. When meshed with Navy Marine Corps commands and their allies, it serves as a force multiplier of uncommon value. Sea Guardian is distinguished from its predecessors by being the first unmanned aircraft in its class to integrate with normal air traffic, enabling airborne surveillance anywhere in the maritime domain. Sea Guardian's detect and avoid system means that the aircraft not only meets rigorous NATO and military-type certification standards, but that it is also certifiable by civil aviation authorities. These authorities do not need to set aside special corridors of airspace or require an escort aircraft for Sea Guardian to take off and transit between segregated and non-segregated airspace like earlier model aircraft once did. Operators can treat the Sea Guardian the same way they do a standard human crewed aircraft and just file a flight plan and fly. When it comes to challenging weather at sea, Sea Guardian is designed to withstand some of the world's harshest conditions. It has an upgraded fatigue and damage-tolerant airframe with a service life of 40,000 hours. 
Sea Guardian can support naval missions with its onboard suite of sensing and intelligence capabilities. Enabling forces to see everything in the visual and infrared spectrum, including with its onboard multi-mode radar through clouds, fog, mist or smoke, and here across the radio frequency spectrum. It can also take on board any number of special payloads to support mission needs. A 360-degree surface search radar, for example, provides wide and detailed surface domain awareness. Communications payloads let the aircraft serve as a major networking node. And MQ-9B Sea Guardian is the only platform of its kind that can carry, release, and monitor Sonoboys indeed, the platform has revolutionized unmanned anti-submarine warfare. Sea Guardian has been sponsored by the US Navy for some of its most complex and challenging integrated exercises including a major anti-submarine warfare exercise in May 2023 in which the aircraft flown by its crew from a ground control station and operated via satellite, joined with US Navy helicopter squadrons to search for submarines in a range off the coast of Southern California. Helicopter crews flew out from San Diego, dropped their Sonoboys, and then Sea Guardian took over monitoring them. Shortly thereafter, its sensors detected a simulated submarine. This meant other helicopters could deploy to the scene armed with precise data about the target's location and course and then attack. Sea Guardian is a huge cost saver as well. This advanced aircraft can provide roughly 80% of the capability of a large human-flown maritime patrol aircraft at about 14% of its cost per hour. That makes it much more economical for navies to send out Sea Guardians to clear big volumes of air or sea and then. If anything of interest is discovered, vector in a human crewed aircraft, saving time, cost, and wear that might otherwise have been expended. The United Kingdom's Royal Air Force now has two Protector RGMK-1 remotely piloted aircraft operating at Royal Air Force Waddington. The second Protector has started its ground trial at Royal Air Force Station Waddington with first flight expected in August.